Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to First Look. I'm Rome Hartman. Uh, Katie Couric is uh, not available uh, today, to, uh, and I know you always prefer to see her. She's working on a story for next week. Um, we, are, uh, we have a number of interesting things on tonight's broadcast, and we have somebody who is sitting right next to me but is out of frame at the moment who's going to explain it to you. Mr. Guest, have to stay tuned for that. Um, one uh, thing I wanted to mention about uh, a story that Katie's reporting on tonight's broadcast is about uh, research dollars and cancer. Uh, we reported about a week ago that uh, there's an encouraging news on cancer deaths declining, as they have for the last couple of years. Something that's are also declining and is much less positive, though, is the amount of federal money available for cancer research. And this is actually causing a, uh, a real uh, problems in uh, researchers, especially young researchers, trying to find enough grant money to do the real cutting-edge research that might lead to real breakthroughs in, in uh, cancer treatment. So uh, that's something that uh, Katie's been working on and, and, and is reporting. A really another interesting story that relates to health care, uh, we're going to have Kelly Wallace uh, tell you about. Kelly Wallace, uh, welcome to First Look. Very we're so thrilled to have you. Now tell us about the story that you have for tonight's broadcast. Well, we wanted to focus on what some of the states are doing when it comes to health care reform. You know, President Bush in his State of the Union address talked about giving more money to states to take the initiative to try and give more coverage to the uninsured. And a few weeks back, we went to Massachusetts. We were following after the announcement in California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger saying he wants to give coverage to all his residents. We wanted to go to the first state in the country that's trying to do just that. In California, in uh, Massachusetts, for about six months now, the program is underway and they are trying to provide insurance to the some 400,000 people who live in Massachusetts and don't have coverage. So we're going to talk tonight a little bit about how the program's working and what some of the big obstacles really are, including trying to convince people who don't make a lot of money and who have never paid for health insurance before that now they're going to have to go ahead and pay a premium. So we take a look at that and how many other states around the country are looking at what's happening in Massachusetts to see if it works and if it can work in their state. Hey, Kelly, thank you very much. We we'll look forward to seeing that story tonight. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, um, except I just forgot what I was going to uh, talk about. Oh, Daniel Seberg is working on a story, our uh, science and technology correspondent, about cyber bullying. And this is something that actually is a big problem uh, uh, for kids. Uh, and uh, we know our kids spend a lot of time online. And uh, that's an interesting thing that he's looking at. So I hope you'll watch that. And uh, tune into the CBS Evening News tonight for all kinds of other interesting stuff that I haven't talked about. See you. Thanks, okay. Kelly.